I've been doing this for 30 years, and this is the most frightening issue that I've ever worked on. Consumer Watchdog President Jamie Court says this report released today is a result of interviews with 20 anonymous whistleblowers, including software engineers, technologists, and experts working in the auto industry, who warn many of the new models released next year will automatically connect their vital systems, including engine, braking, and steering, to the Internet, and that these cars are at risk of being remotely controlled by hackers. All right, let's drive. Consumer Watchdog points to this YouTube video showing two white hat hackers, those who find vulnerabilities and inform the auto industry. The guy in the back seat with the laptop appears to be connected to the car over a cell phone internet connection. Ready? He's going to try to take control of the steering. Oh, how fast are you going? 25, 30. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Here's another YouTube video which appears to show Chinese white hat hackers inside the car while another hacker who's reportedly in their office 12 miles away tries to take control of the brakes. Shut up. Okay. Oh, oh Consumer Watchdog says whistleblowers are warning it is technically possible for hackers to take control of hundreds or even thousands of cars at the same time. Depletes the brakes in all of them steers the cars off the road, and there's chaos and people die. So what can be done about this? Consumer Watchdog says a kill switch could be installed that would disconnect the car's vital systems from the Internet. That would enable cars to be operated safely immediately following an attack. A more complete fix would be to disconnect the car's computer from the Internet to begin with. We are talking about the possibility of a 9-11 scale attack on America and the car makers remarkably know it but haven't fixed it. We reached out to all of the major auto manufacturers. Many of them have responded by saying their vehicles will be equipped with state-of-the-art security features and that they are partnering with researchers both in government and in private industry to make sure they are up to date and can meet the challenges of the future. In Los Angeles, Randy Pate, CBS2 News.